this is an important problem of virtual work where a rod AB is in the given configuration the mass of the rod AB is 3 kilogram that means I am having a force acting in the downward direction because of the rod AB and that is mg at the same time there is spring of stiffness 100 Newton per meter and having an initial compression so the system is actually in the static equilibrium condition if I will find it I can say that the rod because of the gravitational force trying to rotate in the downward direction but at the same time a spring force is acting in the upward direction and because of this spring force the system is in the static equilibrium condition so in the current situation there are two force members one because of the gravity another force because of the spring force which i am writing just k into s and we need to find the value of theta for the given static equilibrium condition so let's start start the problem step by step when i am applying the principle of virtual work what i need to do i need to give a virtual displacement to my system and then i have to find the virtual work so how we will go ahead let's understand in the first part we need to first find what are these two forces one force because of the gravity another force because of the spring so in the question it is given that the mass of the rod is 3 kilogram that means i know one force which is because of the gravity is m into g that is 3 into 9.18 or i am putting it as a 10 value the another force is because of the spring force and it is given in the question when the theta is zero please don't get confused with this small angle i am assuming that it is almost equal to zero, zero angle that means when theta is zero degree spring is in unstretched condition and when the system is acquiring this state which is static equilibrium condition there will be some compression in the spring and based on the diagram i can understand that this much length will be the compression in the spring once i will get the spring force then i will apply the principle of virtual work so how i can find the displacement in the spring and for that we need to apply some geometry if i will see this triangle this length is 400 millimeter this length is 400 millimeter and this angle is theta so using the cosine law i will be able to find the value of s and that will be what that will be s is equal to 0 0.4 square plus 0 0.4 square i am taking this 400 millimeter as meter here minus 2 0.4 square cos theta and that will be in the under root so when i will simplify this expression i will find that the initial displacement in my spring will be 0.4 under root 2 1 minus cos theta so i can get now what would be the spring force the spring force will be k into s and s is nothing but this expression once i will get the spring force and the force because of the gravity i will first make the free body diagram of my system so this is the free body diagram of my system and i can see that this is a pin joint that means there are two reaction force i can also put the reaction force at point c but i don't want to make a, a confusing problem therefore i am not taking it because these forces are of not my interest when i will do the virtual displacement this point would be considered as the fixed point as well as this point will also be a fixed point and fixed point will not give contribution in the virtual work so what is the philosophy of the virtual work let's try to understand i am going to give a virtual displacement to my system and that virtual displacement should follow the constraint please remember when you want to give a virtual displacement to your system it should follow the constraint of your system and what are the constraints of your system one constraint that point a will not go anywhere similarly point c can also not go anywhere the, we have only one choice that is the rod can rotate about this point a when the rod will rotate there is another motion in the spring and that is useful to define the problem as virtual work principle so i have two choices i can rotate the rod in the upward direction so i can make a small change in my system by taking that that small deformation is like delta theta or i can rotate the rod in the downward direction both configurations will be okay for me so i will be having two choices one i can rotate the rod in the downward direction with a small angular displacement delta theta or i can rotate the rod in the opposite direction with a small angular displacement delta theta once you do the virtual displacement you need to write the expression for total virtual work 
so in my case if i am trying to write the total virtual work condition total virtual work expression there are forces ax and ay but as this point is not moving anywhere i am not interested in these two forces only two forces one because of the gravitational force and one because of the spring force so if i am going to consider this configuration for this configuration the rod is going in the downward direction so if i will make a larger picture of this this was the initial configuration i have given a virtual rotation so let this is the new configuration for this new configuration the center of mass of this rod has moved to this position that means i can define that there are there is a certain downward deformation and let's put it delta y at the same time there is another horizontal deformation let displacement i would say delta x so if i want to in, write the expression for the total work done by this mg force there will be two expression one is the mg delta y another one is mg delta x at the same time if i want to write the work done because of the spring force i know that the spring force is acting in this direction and that is ks so what is the change in the length of the spring further change in the spring because already the spring is in the compressed condition so if the delta theta is very very small the this length the change in this length would be my further change so i am going to write it as a delta s and this is the change in the length so my virtual work because of the spring force will be what it will be ks and my delta s this is because of the virtual displacement so i am going to write third expression that will be the ks ks is the spring force and then because of the virtual displacement the work done will be ks into delta s at this moment we must see that the force mg is acting in the downward direction so the this multiplication of mg into delta x will not give any work done because the displacement is in the horizontal direction and the force is acting in the downward direction that means we can say that f dot d or fd cos theta theta is 90 degree that means this will not be a part of this expression second important thing we must do here we need to put the sign of our work we can see here that the mg is acting in the downward direction and my virtual displacement is also in the downward direction if you would have taken the different configuration at that time the mg was acting in the downward direction but the virtual displacement is in the upward direction so based on these two arrow we need to find the sign of my force but for my configuration where i have taken the rod is rotating in the clockwise direction so the center of mass is moving in the downward direction and therefore the work done because of the mg and delta y will be a positive work done at the same time the spring force is acting in the upward direction or the some inclined direction which is trying to move the rod in the upward side but my virtual displacement is trying to move the rod in the downward side that means this force will be a negative force so when i will finalize my virtual work equation it will be plus mg delta y and minus ks delta s i know that based on the principle of virtual work this displacement is virtual so the virtual work will be zero and therefore this would be my expression or i would say that this is my governing equation to solve the given problem now the next challenge how to correlate this delta y with the delta s very simple we know that the displacement is given in terms of theta and these quantities are dependent quantity i can get the expression of delta y using this delta theta as well as i can get the expression of delta s using this delta theta there is a standard procedure we first make the configuration the initial configuration which was in the static equilibrium condition and then we define the point where the force is acting so in one case the force is acting from this point that is the spring force and this is my gravitational force i will define the coordinate of these two points with respect to a fixed point please remember i need to find the displacement so why why force this actually acting from here but the motion is here so i what i will do initially this length was s and i have given a small perturbation or small variation so that the point has moved to a new position 
So, this small change that small change can be calculated by using a small variation that is the heart of your virtual work principle. So, here I am interested to find this delta s as well as I am interested to find this delta y. So, what I will do? First, I will define the initial value of my y based on my configuration and I know that this is the half of the length of the rod that is 200 millimeter. This is my angle theta. So, my y will become what? 200 millimeter sin theta. Similarly, what is my s? I have already calculated it is 0 0.4 under root 2 1 minus cos theta. So, the next job is to give a small perturbation that means what I am having a value of y and I want to give a small variation to this y. This variation word is very common when we talk about advanced structural mechanics where the principle of virtual work is one of the important tool to define the equation of motion. But for simplicity for the first year engineering course I am just saying that my y is 200 sin theta when I am giving a small perturbation that means this is delta is the small perturbation and in mathematics this delta actually a first order derivative that means if I want to get the value of delta y I need to differentiate this equation. But this is why this is theta that means a value which will comes out as 200 cos theta delta theta. Similarly, my s expression is this and I am interested to find the delta s I need to differentiate this expression. When I will differentiate this expression what I will get 0 0.4 under root 2 and I need to do the differentiation of 1 minus cos theta to the power 1 by 2. So, I need to differentiate this 1 minus cos theta to the power 1 by 2. So, final expression will be 0 0.4 under root 2 1 minus cos theta to the power minus 1 by 2 by 2 and when I will do the differentiation of this cos theta I will get sin theta minus sin is there. So, again it will be a positive sign delta theta. So, my simple expression will what 0.4 divided by under root 2 1 minus cos theta because this root 2 and 2 will cancel out and I will get only 1 under root 2 then sin theta delta theta. So, I am having my expression for delta s as well as I am having my expression for delta y and what is my total virtual work done equation? The virtual work done equation which is 0 is mg delta y minus k s delta s is equal to 0. So, I am going to put these two value in my expression. This will be 3 g 0 0.2 cos theta delta theta because this is in millimeter I have converted it into meter. The second expression will be that is minus my k is given s is what? s is already calculated that was 0 0.4 under root 2 1 minus cos theta and then this expression it is 0 0.4 I am multiplying it sin theta delta theta divided by 2 1 minus cos theta. So, this 2 1 minus cos theta 1 minus cos theta will cancel out and final expression it is equal to 0. So, I am going to rearrange my term and the final expression will be in terms of 10 theta because sin theta and cos theta are there it will be what it will be and I will get the theta value is 20.2 degree. So, this is my final answer. I am going back to the original problem. So, this was my problem where I need to find the value of theta and I have calculated the theta value is 20.2 degree using the principle of virtual work. If I will summarize that what was my step? In the first step, I have calculated all the forces. In my case, there were two forces, one because of the gravity, another one because of the spring. So, whenever you will having a spring in your system, there will be certain condition in the question and using those condition you need to find the initial deformation in the spring which was the S in my case. After getting the forces I have given a virtual displacement for that we have seen the virtual displacement could be in the counterclockwise direction or in the clockwise direction and based on that we have written the equation of total virtual work and then finally we calculated the unknown value. I hope you are, you are having a basic understanding how you can solve this problem. This problem was taken from R. C. Hebler chapter 11 and I believe that this is one of the important problem. Thank you.